Hi there guys, it's Eastwood for Life Fan here, back with another monthly update. And this is Movie Pickups update for the month of January 2023. So for this update we have some DVDs, some Blu-rays and also some 4K movie titles to show. And uh, in no order, um, the first four are westerns an american western and some spaghetti western movie pickups uh this one one i've been trying to track down from the uh kino lorba label from the us this is uh, the scalp hunters a uh, late 1960s uh, american western starring burt lancaster and also telly savalas not seen this one for many many years um as i remember this one was a kind of like a little bit light-hearted for a western um, Burt Lancaster he plays a um, a uh, trapper who gets his furs that he's collected over a, over a hard long winter and he gets them robbed by uh, by by some Indians and he gets left with this kind of um, escaped but well-educated uh, house slave and uh, yeah before he gets the chance to get those furs back then the furs get um, ambushed by a group of scalp hunters led by Telly Savannah so yeah US release of the scalp hunters always like Burt Lancaster in his westerns and the next three are spaghetti westerns this one I am planning on doing a uh, separate video for unboxing video for the great release put out by indicator of the big gun down sergio salima's first spaghetti western he did make uh, three great spaghetti westerns this one starring lee van cleef and thomas millian and this is the uh, collector's uh, edition which i uh, pre-ordered from indicator powerhouse films yeah great release and uh, yeah, look out for the unboxing video of this uh, great classic spaghetti western from the 1960s and uh, the sequel to that movie uh, run man run sergio salima's uh, final uh, spaghetti western starring thomas millian he also did uh, make another one with thomas millian um, face to face and uh, this is the um the sequel based with the uh, Corchilio uh, character played by Thomas Millian UK Eureka release first time on Blu-ray this one and I'll be doing an unboxing video of this one as well and the last we get Western is Ace High and this is the, the uh, US uh, Kino Lorber release directed by um, Giuseppe Colazzo and uh, he made quite a few spaghetti westerns with Bud Spencer and Terence Hill and this one also in the movie is Eli Wallach famously known as Tuco in The Good, The Bad and The Ugly and he, uh, this is his uh, second spaghetti western movie and uh, he has a decent spaghetti western this one but do prefer Kalazi's uh, God Forgives I Don't which was the first one he made with Terence Hill and Bud Spencer but yeah good a decent one with Eli Wallach this one this comes with the uh, slip cover just a shame that Kino Lorba seem to be picking and choosing on their releases if they have alternative uh, artwork The next four titles I'll just briefly show because they were sent to us by Nick, the last shoegazer. I did do a uh, package video of what he sent us. And, uh, these next four are all American releases. This one being a uh, documentary, I Am Steve McQueen. Goes into the uh, Steve McQueen collection. And then he also sent me uh, the Criterion Collection release of Ghost Dog, The Way of the Samurai. 
1999 movie where Frost Whitaker plays a uh, a Afro African American um, hitman who models himself on the ways of the uh, old samurai only to find himself being a target for death by the mob uh, yeah very underrated movie this one ghost dog the way of the samurai a couple of horror movies added to that package um adam adam green's uh hatchet 2 which i really did enjoy the first movie about the uh disfigured uh serial killer victor crowley i do plan on binging on the rest of the hatchet movies the unrated uh, director's cut and I think these movies are still not available in the UK and the last one being the DVD the unrated director's cut of Halloween 2 the uh, Rob Zombie uh, version and this one's uh, very difficult to uh, purchase on the uh, blu-ray so I've settled for the DVD of Halloween 2 the Rob's zombie version so that's all the uh, titles that Nick sent us the last shoegazer the uh, next five pickups are all movies related to John Carpenter one of my favorite directors and I've really been on a uh, John Carpenter kick of watching most of his great movies but this one early John Carpenter the first movie he ever directed in 1974 the dark um, star or oh, dark star one that I'd never seen before and this is kind of a uh, low budget student movie about a small crew of um, a small crew in space who have been up in space uh, for 20 years and this was done on a uh, shoe budget um, a shoestring budget this one dark star and it's kind of uh, it's more of a comedic version of um, 2001 Kubrick's 2001 so yeah not expecting a whole lot from this one because it is early John Carpenter The next one is the TV movie that John Carpenter directed of Elvis with the first collaboration with uh, Kurt Russell and this is the uh, US Shout Select release and this one's nearly, nearly three hours long uh, I haven't seen this since watching this on UK TV many many years ago Kurt Russell as Elvis the uh, next movie is probably a movie in the career of uh, John Carpenter that doesn't feel like a John Carpenter movie uh, this one is memoirs of an invisible man and uh, I watched this the other week uh, originally this movie was supposed to be directed by Ivan Reitman who done Twins and Kindergarten Cop and uh, then he wasn't going to be directing the movie and then in came John Carpenter and actually the movie's not bad um, but you kind of always expect a little bit more from uh, John Carpenter um, Chevy Chase wanted to be considered to be uh, more of a serious actor in this role and uh, this movie kind of doesn't it kind of suffers from having its identity in it being a serious movie or a comedic movie but it was okay um, probably I would have not had Chevy Chase for the lead role probably Tom Hanks probably would have suited that with Daryl Hannah also Sam Neill is in this one but yeah it's okay but not one of not a uh, great John Carpenter movie not one that I would include in his top 10 great movies 
the memoirs of an invisible man and the next one <coughs> is a tv anthology uh horror and comedy uh movie body bags directed by two horror greats john carpenter and also toby hooper one that i have never seen before and also john carpenter actually does play a part in uh, one of the stories and you do get some great stars in this one you get david warner and also mark hamill and you also get uh stacy keach and also robert Caradine in it as well as uh, Sheena Easton in this one as well but yeah never seen body bags very difficult to track down this is the um, Screen Factory release I think there is a Spanish release of this one DVD and Blu-ray combo body bags one of the only last few movies from Carpenter's career that I've never seen before and the last John Carpenter pickup is this documentary DVD the man and his movies which is a very good documentary about his career and you also get plenty of interviews of all the stars that have appeared in most of his uh, hit movies like Kurt Russell and uh, Jamie D. Curtis. Yeah, very good documentary. This is a US uh, DVD release. I don't think you can get this in the UK. But yeah, good documentary for those who love the work of John Carpenter. And the last few titles, which are a few 4K steelbooks. Uh, still, John Carpenter picked up um, Halloween Ends. Uh, yeah, P probably not how most Halloween fans would have expected this movie to end, uh, which is a real shame. All three movies, the trilogy directed by David Gordon, uh, after a very good uh, Halloween 2018 movie, uh, not so good second one I was hoping that this movie was gonna end um, well but disappointing it had a good start with a new character which I do feel that should have been used in the second movie Cody or Corey I should say um, but yeah it has its faults this movie um, you do get a uh, section of the movie that Michael Myers is hiding away in a sewer which I did find that to be a little bit silly but yeah you do get some good kills in this one uh, one of probably the best kill in the new trilogy uh, which is the uh, local DJ that was a very entertaining and enjoyable kill but we'll have a look at the still book inside This is the back of the steel book. Jamie Lee Curtis, Laurie Strode, and I didn't mind the ending. It wasn't too over the top. It was just the uh, Corey character, which took a, the bulk of the storyline. And there's your two discs, and you get some. Uh, we'll have a look at the the uh, shot, the movie shot in the back of the steel book. There you have it, Laurie Stroh versus Michael Myers. So that is the uh, 4K steelbook of Halloween Ends. Uh, probably the best thing about the movie, I would say, is the uh, John Carpenter score that was uh, involved in the movie. But yeah, disappointing, but Halloween fans definitely deserved better than the movie or the trilogy to end like it did the next two movies are 
Tarantino movies. Uh, this one, 4K Steelbook, I originally wasn't planning on picking up in this Steelbook edition because uh, first four, I wasn't really um, happy with the Steelbook. I was hoping to have the original artwork on this uh, 4K Steelbook. Picture of uh, all the main characters. But yeah, it does contain this kind of uh, see through slip cover, which the ear does come off. And yeah, I kind of do like it a little bit more. Uh, yeah, classic uh, Tarantino movie, his first movie that he made in 1992, starring Harvey Keitel. Also Chris Penn, Steve Buscemi and Michael Madsen and also Tim Roth. Yeah, um, yeah, just a shame that the original artwork wasn't used for this release. Yeah, great Tarantino movie, great soundtrack and uh, yeah, probably one of my favourite Tarantino movies along with uh, Pulp Fiction. Uh, this one about a group of criminals who uh, do a uh, a dual uh, robbery which goes badly wrong and then they kind of begin to question themselves and then um, they think they, there's a, a police informant among the group yeah great movie reservoir dogs so yeah just a shame about no original artwork on this steel book and the other Tarantino movie, which I actually I've not seen, is Death Proof. Uh, came out in 2007 with Kurt Russell. Um, yeah, this one's kind of like paying homage to the uh, low-budget grindhouse movies of the 70s and 80s. And I do know that they do kind of film it in that sort of fashion. But yeah, I've been watching a lot of Kurt Russell movies and of late and I thought it's about time that I needed to see this movie Death Proof and see if it's not as bad as what people say it is but yeah we shall see so yeah there's all the movie pickups I picked up in January 2023 guys let me know what you think of these movies have you picked any of these editions up and what do you think of all these movies so till the next video guys stay healthy and well and as always Keep on collecting. Go ahead, make my day. <laughs>